This is Clint. And this is Thirsty D. And we are the... Well, well not quite the whiskey. Well, half, half whiskey drinker. Half. We're like, <laughs> like uh, whiskey dry. Whiskey dry sounds good to yeah, me. Yeah, sounds good. All right, so what we're here for But today. don't forget, we also have... Louie's still here. Louie, that little bastard. You so he kind of completes the picture. Yeah, you son of a bitch, Louie. <laughs> I hate you. Anyway, what we're here for today is we got us another review for you. Now this here is something Thirsty D happened to bring over himself. You want to explain what it is? This is a mead that I purchased from All Saints Brewery in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Here it is. And that's what it is right there. This is um, Laura Highlands Meadery Traditional Honey Wine. Now, do you know what mead is by chance? I do. Would you like to tell them what mead is? It is the oldest form of alcohol in Europe. Known to man. Known to man. All right, now this right here in the bottle says, and I will read it for you. I'm not a very good reader. Uh, the goal of Laura Highlands Meadery is simple. To make a delicious product that everyone can enjoy. Whether you like sweet or dry, a dessert wine or a table wine, we have something that will appeal to you. <clears throat> We start with the uh, where we uh, I've lost where it was. We start with three basic ingredients and build on that to create something truly unique. Although it is made in the traditional sense, this is not your typical honey wine. Sounds pretty freaking interesting. Definitely sounds interesting, or might I say primo? Primo. And let me just throw it in there. If you drink enough mead, it definitely has hallucinogenic properties. Yeah, like even look at his shirt. I mean, it says for, stands for itself. <laughs> now, let, let's get on to the important stuff here. Uh, what is the alcohol content? Um, is it high? No, oh, that's weird. That's weird. Might not have ever seen this before. It says alcohol, 11 to 13% by volume. That's interesting because most things have uh, one number on there and that's what it is. This says it can vary between 11 and 13%. Fucking interesting. So uh, it's kind of like a mixed bag. You don't quite know what you get. Yeah, you're either it's getting, a grab bag. Yeah, you're either getting the balls or the shaft on this one. It's hard to tell. Or maybe both. Or maybe both. Uh, this contains contains sulfates or sulfites. What the hell's a sulfite? Is that like sulfur, like sulfur creek? Uh, I don't know, but uh, whatever it is, I'm sure it has to taste good if it's in there. It's probably pretty good. Maybe that's why it gets the yellow color from the sulfur. Yes. Makes sense. Uh, let's see, this is uh, a bottle. Maybe, in, uh, maybe that's from the honey also. <laughs> it could be. Produced and bottled by Laura Highlands Meadery, Hermony, PA. Hermony, is that in Laura Highlands? I thought that was. Oh, no, I'm thinking Harmony. Yeah. <laughs> I'm slightly retarded. All right. Hey, we're keeping this. it in Pennsylvania today. Let's get this some bitch over here. Now, thank God Jimbo's not here because he sucks at doing this. <laughs> Crank it, some bitch. Get the fucking air again. I might add, the whiskey drinker shows have been known for their mead reviews. Whew. World renowned on YouTube channel, and I'm sure this will be another one. That was rough getting that thing up. That thing is sealed in there pretty good. Yeah, they want to make sure none of that double, triple numbers uh, leaks out. Right here. Do the pour test here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She is clear and pretty. Oh, yeah. I don't see no floaties in there either. Not like the water that comes out of the tap here. Uh, Do you have the uh, clear paper to put it up against? Not paper, Jim. Jesus, it's not. It's color sheets. Color These sheets. Color sheets. Color right sheets, because we're quality. As you can see, color Let's sheets around. show the uh, clarity and the color of the mead. Paper, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> you get replaced. All right, give her a little smell test here. I'm, uh, I'm noticing a uh, hint of um, uh, this detergent. Uh, I think that might have been in the glass before the mead was poured. That's uh, probably not. Um, I don't really smell uh, honey at all. I smell chloroseptic. Yeah. Um, like a uh, what's that chloroseptic spray? What's the mm -hmm. main ingredient in that? Um, alcohol. The yeah, alcohol. Um, the rubbing kind. I don't smell any mead either. No, I, it does not have. It, this does not have a mead, mead smell to it. 
at all. Well, we've got a little film on a glass. Um, yeah. It's, it's a light film. Well, it's, it's a medium film. Doesn't really have a wine smell either. Hey, it smells kind of like rubber. Like a, like a used condom? Yeah, not not a very pleasing smell, if I might add. Not really. Not a very pleasing smell. Are well, you ready for the taste test? I'm ready. Cheers. Right. Swish around. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. I like it too. I like it. It like actually it. tastes much better than it smells. It does. Um, hmm. When I was smelling it, uh, I was expecting the worst, but it's actually quite tasty. It's got a little dry end on it. Mm hmm. Um, but it's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's um. Uh, it's got enough wet to it that it overpowers the dry, dry taste. I like it. It's really light, very light, has a crisp taste. The honey hits the tip of your tongue. Yeah, it's, it's, it's light on the honey. That's yeah, sure. very light in the honey. Hmm. I would drink that. I would drink that. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. What would that go with? That would go with, uh... Hmm. It's a good driving drink. Oh, um, yeah, if you're like putting along the back roads, it's a good driving drink. Oh, most definitely drive. Not that we condone such. No, 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 no I mean, not I'm that just we condone, saying, yeah. if you were to drive. Well, but if you're in a state like Texas where it is legal to drink and drive, not to be drunk and drive, but to be drink and drive, yes, this is definitely a drink that you could drink. Isn't it nice to live in certain states where you can do that? It is, it is. Um, definitely don't inhale while you're drinking. No, any drink. that, that alcohol really hits the back of you. Mm -hmm. mm. um, this would be good with like a grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese sandwich? Sounds good. Th this, this is good with a light meal. This isn't something you'd want with a steak or anything that's really full. Yeah, like lettuce. But a light meal, like a salad. You can, or, yeah, I can see you yeah, just like a head of salad. Lettuce. Yeah. Or fruit. Wash it down. Maybe even a, a mild seafood dish, even, I could even see. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Like some crab legs. Yeah. Crab legs. Definitely crab legs. Shrimp. Shrimp. Like a uh, shrimp cocktail. Or like how the rich people call it. Scrimp. Yeah, scrimp. Stop <laughs> um, Hmm. I was uh, impressed with the taste, considering the smell kind of put me yeah. off a little bit. <laughs> so how would you rate... Okay, uh, rating. Laurel Highlights mm -hmm. Meadery, mm -hmm. the traditional. On a scale of meats, that is. On a scale um, of meats. Now, obviously we've had like the Danks Pajads, and that shit is like up here on some other level shit. That's the creme de la creme. Yeah, That's the creme de la creme. But uh, as far as like your basic, I'm walking into a wine store and I want to pick up some mead. Yeah. Um, at, a, at a cheap price. Uh, I would give it a four. I would give it a four. I think it has a little bit to be desired yet. Um, it's like I said, it's pretty light on the honey. Mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> Now, the burp effect's a little low. Not much taste in the burp, so um, it's not gonna get an extra point there. But it, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's if if you're a first time mead drinker, that's a way to go. You know, what? okay, that's a good that's a good way to put it. If you're a first time mead drinker, uh, you don't want to go for the really super strong yeah. stuff. This is a good way to start. This is a begin. This is a beginner's mead. Yeah, that's a beginner. This is a beginner's mead. That's a beginner's five right there. Yeah. Now. You don't want to give them somebody that's never drank mead before, like the Danks Majad, yeah. because you're going to fuck them up for life. Yeah, exactly. But that there, that there's on to some shit there. Now, um, ra rating this as a beginner's mead, I would give it a four. Okay. I mean, I mean, in its, uh, in, a pers in its proper perspective, I'd give it a four as a beginner's mead. Like you said, it's not the creme de la creme, mm. but as a beginner's mead, I'd give yeah, it a four because it's true. very pleasing to the taste. Yeah, and, and again, it definitely lacks a little bit, but I can't put my finger on what it lacks. I think it's really the honey flavoring. I like my mead with a, a little bit more of an overpowering. I like I, I like a little stronger honey taste. Yeah, yeah. That's how I like my meads. And this does, I mean, the taste of honey is there, but it's not incredibly strong. Yeah. Now, for some people, that's why they like this mead. Yes. But me, for a hardcore mead drinker, you want you want the taste of honey. Because yeah, that's what mead's all about. And again, like this is a a, a perfect wine for like dinner, dinner or dessert. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, and a lot of times you'll hear mead referred to as a dessert wine. Yeah, 
And this is the type of mead that I think, uh, you know, to throw a little gender in there, I think this is the mead that the ladies would like. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I think this is more of a, I mean, this is a, this, this is a gender-friendly mead. Or most of the guys of today, because yeah. I wouldn't call the guys of today men. No, no, no. Um, they're a little on the foo-foo side. They're, uh, they're, they're... As the, poli but as the women politically the correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. But it's, it's pretty good. It is. I like it. Highly recommend it. Stop in if you're ever in the Greensburg area at the All Saints Brewery and pick up some Laurel Highlands Meadery, the traditional. That's right. And maybe sample some of their other brews. You'll love them. All right. Well, that's the Mead Review. Until next time, this is Clint. And this is Thirsty D. And we'll see you later. Primo. I'm going to have me another little bit of this. A little, little splashy splash? As will I. Mm. Hey, we should get Jim Bob to try some of this. He's missing some mead. I will save some for you. Yeah, maybe. Probably not. Really? No. No. no.